Not so long ago, less than 10 years really, this was the quality of a picture you might have had on your television. A standard definition analog signal with a tube TV. Then, just a few years ago, we made the leap to digital TV, and that allowed for technology to jump into higher definition and better energy efficiency, like LCD or LED TVs. The signal on this set uses half the amount of power used of an old tube set. Ooh. That was cool. TV technology continues to advance quickly. TVs have higher resolution and more options today than those from just a couple years ago. Features like curved TVs and smart TVs are making buying a TV more complicated than ever. Not to mention all the accessories you can add to your entertainment system. You know what? I'm going to go check out what's new with TVs and you can explore all of the new accessories available. That sounds like a plan to me, Megan. Let's get started. Did you know the average home has more than three TVs? Even though the new TVs use a lot less energy than those old tube style TVs, with three TVs in many homes, that's still using a significant amount of energy. So today, we'll check out the latest technology in televisions. We'll be looking at LED sets. That stands for light emitting diode. OLED, a variation of the LED. LCD sets, liquid crystal displays and 4K televisions. We're leaving plasma TVs out of the comparison today because they're pretty much out of the picture and they use considerably more energy to operate than the others we mentioned. We're here at Sears today where they have a multitude of televisions to choose from and Derek Heiberger is going to be helping us out. Hi Derek. Hi. Okay, explain the numbers thing. We hear 720, 1080, 4K. Are they all related and what do they mean? It's describing the number of pixels in the screen, pixels being the dots that make up the screen's picture. So 720 is going to be the base model, and that's going to be the 720 pixels from the top of the screen to the bottom. Then 1080p is going to be 1080 pixels, and 4K is going to be 2160. Okay, so that puts it all into perspective. It's not the number of pixels on the entire screen. Yep. And I'm guessing the higher the number? Yep, pretty much the better. The better. So which televisions do you see people purchasing most often? Generally a 50 to 55 inch LED set. Sometimes 4K, sometimes not. And technology is moving so rapidly these days. What is the latest and greatest and what's new now? Right now the new thing is going to be 4K ultra high definition, curved TVs, and also OLED TVs. Now curved TVs have been out a while. Um, is it wise for people to rush right into that new technology or, or would you advise them to wait a little while? Right now, things like 4K and the curved screen have been out for about a year and a half, so the kinks are worked out. So going to buy one is definitely not a bad idea. Can you clarify the difference between an LED and an LCD set? Yep. So the main difference is going to be the light that shines through the screen. LCD TVs use a fluorescent tube light in the back of the TV, whereas a modern LED set uses smaller LED lights, like you'd small, find in a small flashlight. Oh, and then an OLED? How is that related? It's a brand new type of TV, and we actually have one right over here, and I can show you real quick. Okay. So this here is one of our OLED televisions. So the main difference between OLED and a normal LED TV is that every pixel in the screen is going to be made up of its own set of LEDs. It gives the TV better color and darker blacks and brighter whites. Wow, it is, it's a beautiful picture, first of all. And I noticed there's a curved screen. Yep, so curved TVs are a newer thing as well. It helps viewing from the side. So if you have a couch up against a wall to the side of the TV, it's definitely a good option to look at. Are all OLEDs curved like this? Not all of them, but some of them are. Okay. Uh, we're always telling our, our viewers to look at the energy guide when they're purchasing a refrigerator or a stove. Is that something that we should be looking at when we purchase a TV as well? Definitely. A TV is going to be on a lot of the time in the house, so a good thing to look at is going to be the yellow energy guide stickers on the TVs. Right. That way you can compare the TV side to side. Now it looks to me like the LED uh, price to operate per year is a little bit higher than, the, uh, than an LCD. So why should someone purchase an LED television? So the main reason is going to be, um, like the newer features, they cost more to operate. However, they're going to give you a better picture overall and a better viewing experience. Okay. So this one behind us costs the most to run out of all of these. Yep. So that one right there, uh, being the top of the line, is going to cost the most. Um, that being said, it's also going to deliver the best picture out of all of the TVs. Let's talk about 4K. Um, you explained that that's the most amount of pixels available, and so it's going to have a better picture and all of that. 
Is that gaining in popularity or is it so new that people are staying away from it? It's definitely gaining in popularity. More and more things are able to be broadcast in 4K now, so there's definitely an incentive to go out and buy one. I imagine you see those customers that come in that have to have the latest and greatest as well. Definitely, and they're usually the ones who are going to spring on the 4K TVs. Now, a big trend right now is um, streaming movies and all of that kind of stuff, having internet access with our televisions. Um, that's become a really popular thing. Is that a standard feature? It's not going to be standard, but it will be on most of the TVs that we're going to be able to sell. And that is definitely gaining in popularity, which is why it's included on more and more models every year. Right, and that whole smart home philosophy, which is pretty cool as well. Yep. Great. This is fabulous information. Thank you so much. Yep, not a problem. If you'd like more details on television technology and how much your television costs to run, visit our website, powerhousetv.com.